Hello everybody, this is PJ and this is 30 day lead code challenge with PHP level difficulty easy. Um, this is a um, challenge, uh, this is our previous challenge to reformat date. Let's pick the challenge number 5 using this shuffle function. Okay, and we have uh, easy happy number uh, challenge so let's start the timer and what we have here write an algorithm to determine if a number n is happy a happy number is a number defined by the following process starting with a, any positive integer replace the number by the sum of the squares of its digit Repeat the process until the, until the number equals one, where it will where it will stay, or it will or it loops endlessly in a cycle, which does not include one. Those numbers for which the process ends in one are happy. Written true if n is happy number or false if not. Okay, so after reading it, again, it's quite difficult to understand what is it about. So uh, I prefer to look at examples. Uh, so let's say we have one and nine, and this is a happy number because it returns true an explanation why it is a happy number. So we have 19 and then square of 1 is 1 and then square of 9 is 81 so we have 82 okay now square of 8 and square of 2 okay and the square of 6 okay and then squares okay so one thing I'm not quite sure about is loops endlessly in a cycle which does not include one uh, obviously we probably cannot loop forever because we need to return either true or false so it has to end uh, at one point but when um, I'm not sure at this point we have certain constraints okay so so the number is from one to let's see what that number uh, is okay so that is the maximum number uh, uh, that we can get in our uh, it's our constraint okay mm. So maybe let's uh, create these values here uh, and max value, this is our max value and then let's have a look uh, uh, how to do uh, square function. Yeah. That looks okay so these are our constraints uh, and now let's uh, try to solve it so what we're gonna do probably first is just to loop through each uh, number four let's try to do it in a for loop so from h zero h less than length of the string uh, and then uh, let's uh, increment that value so now what we need to do uh, is so actually let's first check uh, the number if it's a valid number so if uh, number is 
less than min value or if n is greater than max value then we will return false so and that let's try first looking looking at these um, numbers okay so let's say let's create a sum a variable and with this sum we're just gonna add uh, so let's create a number let's take the each number of the each digit of each number uh, and then let's call it power function and we take that number n to the power of 2 what we need to do then if hmm I think it can become quite tricky here because we need to then at the end check the sum so if sum equals one then we can return true otherwise we need we repeat we repeat this is happy function I think we need to return it with the um, with the sum Okay, so it's gonna look until this number sum is gonna be greater than this, and this is how a loop um, is gonna end either by one or by returning false here. Um, yeah, I think that should work that would be my interpretation so i will try to run the code okay we have an error yes because we have problem with brackets here okay okay we have wrong answer because we have an output false where this should be true for 19 so let's try to figure out why that happened okay so let's see if we're actually getting this uh, number uh, correctly so uh, php how to split the number into digit into digits let's see what we're gonna get how to explode in ten integer number okay so string split okay so let's check this function let's just 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 confirm a comma string into an array okay that is actually quite useful so let's uh, do it uh, that way probably will be better uh, let's call this numbers and then string split and then n uh, so what we can do we can replace this with count now because it's an array and then each element is a numbers okay so let's try to run it now okay and that was accepted so there was something wrong with the other function uh, I think uh, it didn't uh, properly take that number so yeah that works and now 
try with the cache test case too. Okay, so we have memory limit uh, exceeded. Um, okay, so maybe let's uh, try to run it also. Uh, maybe again, but before we do it, let's just try. Uh, if we're not doing something wrong with the code. Okay, so what you can see now on the screen is the actual solution for this uh, problem. As you can see, I spent more than an hour uh, trying to solve it and I couldn't. So it is now actually the following day and I had to do uh, some research uh, in the meantime and I found uh, a solution here uh, on this page and this is uh, this kind of problem that you actually need to know the solution in my opinion it's really hard to really work it out uh, on a go and you know it's not really something that in my opinion you would come across in everyday work so this is probably uh, this kind of solution that maybe some companies are trying to test you on interviews and things like that but I, I don't think it's very practical and although it's still some kind of exercise trying to solve them but if you actually don't know the solution I think it would be very hard or almost impossible for anybody to uh, actually solve it so not my favorite type of um, of uh, problem programming problem to solve so yeah uh, as you can see i found a solution here so the solution is so basically we keep we will keep two numbers slow and fast both initialized from a given number slow is replaced one step at a time and fast is replaced two steps at a time if they meet at one and uh, then then the given number is happy otherwise not okay so what we do we actually calculating slow and fast uh, sum uh, of each uh, for fast we are doing this twice uh, on every single iteration and if they uh, meet at one point uh, if they meet at one then it is a happy number if they meet because they can meet at a different number then uh, the number is not a happy number so that's that's the solution so let's test it on our numbers so 19 yeah and that works and then two yes that also works so let's try to submit it yes uh, and the solution has been accepted although you know it wasn't particularly successful I, uh, like i said probably without looking uh, for the actual solution uh, searching for actual solution i don't think i would be able to solve that problem okay that is it for today uh, and yeah uh, i'm looking forward to another problem uh, tomorrow. Uh, thank you very much and bye bye.